Hello everybody and welcome to this BK Academy tutorial video looking at some references that we can use visually whilst we are applying curl to our shots in Golf Clash. Before we get started, don't forget if you are enjoying the content please do hit thumbs up on the video and if you are new to the channel please do consider becoming a subscriber. Enable the bell button on YouTube so that you get notified when we upload new content or go live. Now we all know that sometimes we will have to use left or right curl in our shots as well as um, side spin in conjunction with that to get where we want to be uh, to position ourselves ideally for our next shot. It's something we're all going to have to do. The problem with curl is that it's very difficult sometimes to judge the exact amount that you need. Okay, if we're looking at side spin, we can all find one bar of side spin to the left, or we could find four bars of top spin, for instance. It's a little bit easier to do that, and it's also easy to look at ring references on the fairway and adjust our rings as accurately as we can. But how do we then apply the right amount of curl and make sure that we're all talking along the similar lines when it comes to how much we actually need to use? So we're going to take a look at some charts, once again very kindly supplied by Juan Prego who's more than happy for um, us to use them here on the channel and we're going to provide a link to the charts if you want to download them in the video description down below. We've got three charts here and each one is using a different method. So I'm going to quickly put the first one up on the screen and then show you some more detailed examples of reference points. So the first one here is actually looking at the edges of the ball, either the left or the right side, you know, inside edge or outside edge, depending on which direction you are using curl. And what we're looking at here is the alignment from the edges of the ball and those positions in relation to the circle or the adjustment ring, whichever you want to call it. So I'm not going to go through every single one because the chart kind of says it all but we are going to look in more detail at the most common examples. Here we have what's known as inner circle or inner wall of curl. So the edge of the ball there just touching the inside of the adjustment ring. Going with a bit more curl now, middle circle or mid wall. So the edge of the ball is right in the middle of that blue band of the adjustment ring or the shot circle. And the next one, even more curl than that, obviously outer wall of curl. So the outer edge of the ball, in this case of the left edge, because we're using left curl, that is therefore going to be touching the outside wall of the adjustment ring to the left. Now, the next point we can use is using the other edge of the ball. So in this case, dragging the ball over to the left is going to be the inside edge. So we call this inner edge and it's to the inner wall so the inner edge of the ball in this case the right hand edge touching the inside wall of the adjustment ring then we have inside edge to the middle of the wall there and in similar fashion to before inside edge to the outer wall there so that's obviously providing a lot more curl but we saw there there's obviously a good portion of curl that we could be measuring, but we don't have an appropriate reference for the edges of the ball. So that's where we then look at the next chart. So let's look at the second chart here. Now this is using ball size references. So we're talking about fractions of the ball being away from absolute center. This is easier to judge with grid lines. And what you'll find if you are following a guide or a certain people's adjustments, is that there are different methods of describing the amount of balls in terms of fractions. So some people will say half a ball of curl, and in this chart that means half a ball away from center. However, some guide makers will say half a ball of curl outside the adjustment ring. So you've got to make a distinction there. It is slightly subjective when you're talking about ball fractions, but we do have a close up here where I can just explain that in a little bit more detail. So here's a close-up picture of what I would class to be half a ball of curl outside the adjustment ring to the left. However, this is not the same as saying half a ball of curl, and I'll explain why now. 
If you were to draw a line straight down the middle of that T-peg vertically from top to bottom, it would actually miss the inside edge of the ball. So we will know then we're using actually a little bit more than half a ball. So just be careful to distinguish what method you are using and if you are using a guide, exactly what reference they are using because there is a difference between half a ball of curl and half a ball of curl outside the adjustment ring to either the left or the right. Now let's look at the last of the charts here from Juan and these really go into uh, detail especially for clubs like the Apocalypse where you've got a decent amount of curl and it's hard when you're using this much to actually express it in terms of an amount of the ball or looking at edges because we're way out of the adjustment ring here so it's sometimes very difficult to say oh it's 1.8 balls outside the ring to the left who's going to measure that but we do have some interesting reference points here so let's take a look at some examples here we're looking at the trail of the ball touching the triangle now this was completely new to me i've not used it but it is something i'm going to now be referencing because it's sometimes difficult to judge this exact amount of curl so look there i've circled it the trail of the ball as in what you pull back from the t you get that little animation that is touching the triangle there so that's an interesting one then here we have another edge reference but instead of using the adjustment ring we're using again these triangles so this is obviously inside edge of the ball touching the outer tip of the triangle so again increasing the curl by a little bit here but we have a clear reference and finally this one is not using the ball at all it's actually looking at the t-peg here i've got a basic t just to make it clear and we again are drawing a line down the center of the t vertically and you can see the inner tip of the triangle there is directly underneath the center of the t so there is another good reference if you have to use a hefty amount of curl hopefully you found this video useful and got some nice reference points that you can look at when you're building your shots and using guides. Of course, this does assume you are using a ball that is perfectly spherical. You will have difficulty if you're using things like the pine cone ball or the rugby ball. It does make it a little bit tricky, but definitely for your standard balls like your Kingmaker, your Titan, and to be honest, most of the premium balls that do go on sale you've got some very, very good references that I hope you will be able to use. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the rest of the Academy tutorial playlist on the channel, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.